Yo, what up, YouTube? Philly Sports 76. Gonna make a little IP recap of some autographs that I've gotten uh, a little bit over the summer. And I'm um, gonna have a few thoughts on NBA free agency. So, um, real quick to show the autographs, uh, I went to NBA Nation on the 4th of July in Philly and um, met a couple guys there. And also went to the Sixers Beach Bash recently. Um, I believe that was, well, anyway, a few days ago. So, first of all, at, at NBA Nation, there was a dunk contest, and one of the judges, I met up with Road Rage 29 there, but one of the judges was Deontay Christmas, so I got him just to sign this. Signed upside down, because I, I wanted to, ha I was handing it to him like this, um, just so he could sign it, and then he just signed it upside down, and it doesn't look like it was good, because he really rushed the signature, so the autograph didn't really come out that great, but whatever. He's trying to make it with the Suns, so uh wish the best to him. Um, then the guy I went there for was uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and he was there obviously because he's from Philly, so got him on a couple things. Um, they were saying it's one per for him, and they were really strict about it, which kind of sucks. But um, I, got, I was able to get a couple more thanks to his mom. Um, so anyway, one guy, he signed... He signed a couple extra things, and some guy just came out with these, so I got one. Just a blank kind of thing that he signed. Um, this is what I got from his mom. I gave this to his mom to sign. It was just a small card. And he signed it really small, but the autograph came out pretty nice, actually. So, so that's cool. And this is what I wanted to get. Um, I had already Kemba Walker on here. And so I added MKG. Um... Cause I didn't get him that night, but uh, so now I got that completed, which is cool. Um, got to shoot around with him a little bit and talk to him and get a picture with him. So he was he was nice. Uh, he didn't stay for long, but like I said, the security was kind of you know uptight, and it seems like sometimes the players tr want to be nice, but the security guard kind of ruins that experience for you, which you know really sucks. But uh, whatever. Um, I wasn't able to go to Shady's. Uh, celebrity basketball game, I would have liked to, um, but wasn't able to go to that, and I haven't been able to go to any open practices for the Eagles yet because I've been working, but I did go to the Beach Bash. I had to be late because I was doing something else that day, but I got there just in time uh, for Nerland's Noel. Yeah, take this. It's a pretty sick picture. Uh, I like this one. Obviously, there aren't many of him with the Sixers jerseys other than that photo shoot. Uh, kind of finished the signature. You can't see the rest in, like, the dark spot. You kind of see it with the glare, but it's still nice. Um, yeah, I think he'll be special this year, and uh, hopefully he'll be the rookie of the year. That would be nice to have back-to-back -back rookie of the years, and then maybe have Joel Embiid for three times in a row. But, um... Uh, Tony Roten was there. I didn't really care about Brandon Davies, but, um, Tony Roten was there, but he left by the time I got there. Um, but it was funny with Noel, there was a huge line for him signing, and, like, halfway through, like, there was still a good part of the line, and he just got up and left. It was good, because I was, like, behind the cutoff anyway, so I wasn't going to be able to get him through that. So I was just waiting for him to leave, and he just got up and left halfway through signing, which was... <laughs> kind of mean for the fans that were waiting for him, but whatever. And then, like, I, I was just waiting, me and my brother, by, like, some back exit that we knew he would go out, that he that we knew that he would exit through, and then he got into his car and signed a few autographs um, for me and my brother and a couple of little kids that were there, maybe signed, like, ten more. Um, but I, didn't, I had a couple more photos and cars of him, but I didn't want to, you know, be that guy standing in the window and just feeding cars while little kids are trying to get it. So I got my my autograph. My I got my autograph and I handed him the pen. And um, you know that players will take care of you if you hand them their pen when they're looking for one. So I handed him the pen and then he was really nice for me and my brother and signed a couple. But yeah, I didn't want to be a jerk and take up you know the time from the little kids because um, it's a good experience for them too. But that's pretty much it for the autographs I've been getting. Um, came out pretty nice, but I did want to talk a little bit about NBA free agency since my draft day uh, reaction actually 
did pretty well. So, um, obviously the big thing is LeBron, and um, I want to see, like, the I want, it'll be interesting to see what the Cavs do, obviously with um, Andrew Wiggins and the Kevin Love trade. Um, but obviously the Cavs are big favorites. I think the Bulls will be good this year, too, if Rose can stay healthy, of course. You know, it sucks for Paul George, and uh, that's like a devastating injury, not only to him and the Pacers, but also the NBA, because he's such an up-and-coming star. I mean, he already was. Now, I mean, you're just going to see more of him, and it sucks that, you know, he's going to be out for a year, and hopefully it's only a year, and uh, not a career-ending injury. But, you know, prayers go out to him. Um, also... Uh, the Sixers, I don't think, have done anything with free agency, but, you know, whatever. They're tanking again. Um, but really, that that's a, that's about it. Um, I still think a Western Conference team will win the championship this year. Um, but but that's, that's just my opinion. I don't think the Cavs are ready to win it this year. Um, and my pick for Rookie of the Year is probably going to be, you know, very early, but Jabari Parker, just because Andrew Wiggins... If he stays with Cleveland, wouldn't have that much of an opportunity with LeBron already there. You know, he'll be kind of under his wing. So I don't think he would have the numbers really for a rookie of the year, especially out of this strong class. So um, I think New Orleans well will have a good shot, you know, if he does what he's supposed to do. There's not really anyone else stopping him. And I think Jabari Parker also will get the numbers um, in Milwaukee since there's no one else really there. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching the Sixers grow this year. They have a good you know, a good foundation of young players. Um, like I said, I've already I've already said that I like their draft picks. Um, Jeremy Grant and and KJ McDaniels in the second round. I'll be interested to see them play, see MCW play, and improve his game. And of course, watching Erlens Noel and Tony Roten and those guys. So you know, time will come. Um, hopefully, in free agency in a few years, we'll be able to land a big name player and and be good again. So. So that's all. I just wanted to show those autographs and talk a little bit. Um, but other than that, I'm not sure when my next video will be. Probably if I get a couple more autographs, but see ya.